Alright guys, we have made it to game week 43 of this championship season and things are really hotting up at both ends of the table. Another big round of fixtures to preview in today's video. We're also going to be discussing all of the matches that took place in midweek throughout today's video, so make sure to get your thoughts on those games down below. Very much looking forward to this weekend. A lot on the line. Without any further ado, let's jump in. Starting out with the big game on Friday night, that sees Plymouth going up against Leicester. Two sides who could really do with a result here and for differing reasons. Now, in terms of Plymouth, thought that a point in midweek against QPR wasn't the worst result in the world, especially as they had to come from behind in that game. I think there's a good chance that had Ian Foster still been in charge, Plymouth go on to lose that match. So to take advantage of a Begovic mistake near the end, I think it's a positive, and also the fact that they've still got survival within their own hands. They're out of the relegation zone with four games to go, which is what every team down there wants at the moment. Another thing playing into Plymouth's favour right now is the fact that their goal difference is pretty superior to the majority of other sides around them, meaning that if it does go down to the wire this season and Plymouth maintain that sort of goal difference that they've got at the moment, they should have a slight advantage over the other sides. Providing they avoid any sort of batterings in this game, they've got... Two crunch matches coming up after this against Stoke and Millwall. For me personally, I think those two away matches will decide Plymouth's fate this season and whether they stay up or not. And taking a point in this one, I think, would be seen as a positive, all things considered. And there's certainly a chance that Plymouth do get something from this game, especially with Leicester faltering on the road right now. They've only won one of their last five away matches. It was a slip for them in midweek against Millwall. Let off the hook a little bit by the fact that Leeds obviously didn't take advantage against Sunderland, but Leicester's next three games after this one against Plymouth are looking particularly tricky against West Brom, Southampton and Preston so they really could do with getting back to winning ways here. Score prediction for me, I think Leicester will have a lot of control, it's going to be pretty tight I'm just going to edge the Foxes to get back to winning ways with a 1-0 away win. Don't think it'll be pretty though. Next then we go to Ellen Road for Leeds up against Blackburn and you know what I'm not quite sure how to call this one. Leeds enjoying a frustrating evening last time out against Sunderland. A goalless draw. Not the best of attacking performances, albeit they should have had a penalty in that game, which absolutely could have made all the difference. Going up against the Blackburn side, who will be looking to bounce back from arguably one of their worst performances of the season in midweek. Shipping five goals against Bristol City. Definitely the worst we've seen them under John Eustace so far. That game got away from them quite quickly. And... Blackburn are a weird one because in fairness to them, they pushed Ipswich all the way not long ago, got a point off Southampton as well, and I don't think they'll get batted in back-to-back -back matches. I think there has to be some sort of reaction from this Rovers squad here. In saying all of that, it's Leeds at Ellen Road, and unless they're in the mood to give something away to the visitors and maybe Sammy Smothix can make a point of difference, I do think this is a decent opportunity for Leeds to return to winning ways. Score prediction here... I've got to back the home side, I feel. I'm going to go 2-0 Leeds in that fixture, which would be a big result for them. Next then to Birmingham up against Coventry. And my God, is this a big game in Blues season. They now find themselves 23rd in the championship, having lost six of their last seven matches. Midweek felt like a bit of a must-win game for Gary Rowett's side, but they just didn't show up to the party, losing 1-0 against Cardiff. And suddenly, the pressure on these final four matches is absolutely huge. And it's Birmingham who have got it all to do right now. Now, Coventry will be looking to bounce back from a disappointing one in midweek, that game against Southampton, which just got away from them. You could maybe argue that Cov could have one eye already on that FA Cup semi-final, which is to come against Manchester United next weekend. With all that being said, I think if Coventry do show up to St Andrews with their A game... They probably should be winning this one. The run of form that Birmingham are on at the moment, the lack of quality in the final third especially. Score prediction in this game... I'm going to go 2-1 Coventry, which would be a really sinking result for Birmingham. Next then to Ashton Gate for Bristol City up against Huddersfield. And fair play to Bristol City. Put together a really nice run of form of late. That's four games unbeaten for Bristol City. And in all four of those games, they've kept a clean sheet. Put five goals past Blackburn in midweek as well. In one of their best performances of the season so far. And on paper, probably should be fancying their chances in this game as well. Obviously, me as a Preston fan got to see Huddersfield over midweek and have to admit it didn't look pretty first half gave it a decent go wasn't that much in the game but second half as soon as North End got that goal back 
that whole squad just completely sank and didn't have anything about them in the attacking third in that second half and then several of those flaws in the defensive third were really exposed. Score prediction for this game, I think Bristol City have to be fancying their chances. I'm going to go 2-0 Bristol City, which really could leave Huddersfield in it, especially with Sheffield Wednesday breathing down their necks. Next then to Hull up against QPR. Have to admit that after midweek and Hull dropping points against Middlesbrough, the top six does look unlikely. With that being said, if they do get through this one with all three points and results go their way, they could be dragged back into the playoff race with a few games to go. In saying all of that, this one won't be easy. QPR tend to be good value for money on the road and as it's been well documented throughout the season Hull haven't always been great on home soil especially when it comes to killing off games involved in a very entertaining game it seemed against Middlesbrough but not getting the result over the line which was required worth flagging up as well I know there's a disparity between Hull and QPR in the league table right now but since the start of January QPR have been outperforming Hull which is worth taking into consideration score prediction for me personally Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if this one ends level. Hull love a draw at home, don't they? Going to go for a one one between those two, which would be definitely more helpful to QPR than Hull. After that, we go to Portman Road for Ipswich up against Middlesbrough. Ipswich involved in a really frustrating game in midweek, a goalless draw against Watford. We did flag up that that could have been a potential banana skin for them. Watford have been good at taking points off the teams above them, especially since Tom Cleverley has come in as the interim boss there. The positive spin on that result is that Ipswich do have promotion within their own hands heading into the final four matches, but... The pressure is really cranked up on this fixture. I really feel like they need to give everything in this game, especially considering Ipswich will have a week off after this. Uh, they next play on the 27th of April, so quite a gap between this fixture and the next time Ipswich will play. In saying all of that, it's not going to be easy. Middlesbrough on a good unbeaten run right now. Seven games unbeaten in the Championship. Really entertaining game in midweek against Hull. A 2-2 draw in the end. Do have the feeling that this one will be a lot more open than Ipswich's game against Watford was in midweek, which could play into the Tractor Boys' hand. Middlesbrough can definitely hit you with more of a punch in the attacking third, but they'll definitely give you a chance or two at the back as well. And I think that sort of game probably suits Ipswich a little bit more. Score prediction in this one... A high scoring draw wouldn't surprise me. I'm just going to go on my gut that Ipswich get back to winning ways. Maybe with another crazy 3 2 home win or something like that. Next, then we go to the den for Millwall up against Cardiff. Two sides who picked up really good results in midweek. Cardiff, who have been quite erratic lately with their results with a good away win at Birmingham and Millwall really pulling one out the bag with that result against Leicester which massively eases their relegation concerns especially coming off the back of two really concerning performances against Huddersfield and Rotherham this does have the feeling of quite a low scoring tight game where the first goal will be quite decisive whether that's from a moment of magic or a set piece or something like that this one does feel like a bit of a 50-50 for whoever gets that first goal. Gut feeling for me says that maybe Millwall with that home advantage, although Cardiff can be decent value on the road as well. Score prediction here... I'm just going to edge it for Millwall. 1-0, I think, in that game, but a very tight one, I'm fancying there. After that, to Deepdale for Preston up against Norwich. A huge game in both team seasons, and it's mental how quickly narratives and momentum can shift in the championship. At half-time in midweek, Preston were 1-0 down against Huddersfield. Norwich were two goals up against Sheffield Wednesday. It looked more than likely that Norwich were going to seal up that playoff spot, and Preston were completely out of the picture but come full time Norwich blow a two goal lead at Wednesday and Preston beat Huddersfield 4-1 thanks to a second half Malutin Osmajic hat-trick and suddenly Preston are back in the playoff race out of nowhere now I do still think it will be a stretch for North End to make the top six come this stage I think we need to be almost flawless in our remaining matches for us to leapfrog the sides above us but it starts with this game against Norwich and do you know what on the back of that 4-1 win against Huddersfield a few North End fans could be fancying this one we have been boosted a little bit by the return of Alan Brown our midfield had been looking quite threadbare in recent matches but with him returning into the side for the weekend. I think that's a real 
plus in our favour. Osmaic absolutely firing on the back of that hat-trick as well. With that being said, Norwich are a really tricky customer. They have been pretty consistent throughout the whole calendar year, but their away form still remains to be their Achilles heel, and particularly their in-game management in some of those away matches. There's been quite a few occasions this season where Norwich have taken the lead, only to go on and blow it later on. Preston need to play into that. It's obviously worth flagging up that Norwich have only won five away matches all season. Just to keep the race with the top six interesting, and this may be a prediction out of hope more than anything else, I'll go 2-1 North End for that game to, yeah, make that last playoff spot worth fighting for. After that to Hillsborough for Sheffield Wednesday up against Stoke. It really felt like Stoke were building towards something. They were slowly getting there under Schumacher. They'd gone unbeaten in three matches, and then they go up and serve that performance up in midweek, lose 3-0 against Swansea, and suddenly they're well back in in this relegation picture, especially if they lose this one. Now, great comeback from Wednesday in midweek. That point against Norwich come the end of the season could turn out to be absolutely pivotal, but make no mistake about it, this weekend right here is the best opportunity Sheffield Wednesday have had this season to climb out of the bottom three. A win for Wednesday in this game will see them go level on points with Stoke, albeit with a worse goal difference, but with me not really fancying Huddersfield to put, pick up much at Bristol City, a win for Wednesday in this game probably will take them out of the bottom three for me. A large factor of this depends on whether or not Schumacher can get an instant reaction out of that Stoke squad because I think if they rock up this game and put in a similar performance as they did against Swansea, Sheffield Wednesday could have quite a bit of joy here. I think it'll be a little bit tighter than that, but gut feeling says that Wednesday get the job done at home. Score prediction, going to go 2-0 to the Owls, which would massively shake things up around the bottom. Next then to St. Mary's for Southampton up against Watford, and during a midweek where all of the top three drop points. I suppose Southampton were the real winners. A good result for Russ Martin's side against Coventry and just as automatic promotion seemed to have slipped away from them suddenly they could be back in the race obviously. It is Southampton who have it all to do. They've got the games in hand on the teams above them but they need to put that into action and actually turn those matches into three points. And do you know what? This one against Watford I think is a lot harder than meets the eye. Watford Watford have been really good at taking points off the teams above them since Tom Cleverley came in. It was a real battling draw for them against Ipswich. We've also seen them taking points off West Brom, Leeds and Preston lately. In no doubt that Southampton will have a lot of control of the ball in this one, a lot of possession, but Watford seem to be fairly comfortable without it and they have their own threats that they can spring on the counter as well. Has the feel of a low scorer unless Southampton score early on. Do you know what? I think Watford could frustrate the hell out of Southampton here. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, which wouldn't be any good for Southampton's automatic promotion push. After that, we go to Swansea up against Rotherham. Was a much-needed result for Swansea in midweek. There was the possibility, had they lost that game against Stoke, that coming into these final few matches, they really could have been dragged into that relegation scrap, but the win in midweek put Swansea up to 50 points, and that's probably going to be the magic number this season to go ahead and get you over the line to safety. They'll probably find to their chances against Rotherham in this one as well. Have a feeling that Rotherham, the players, staff, fans collectively just want to get this season over and done with as quickly as possible. Uh, a 2-0 loss for them in midweek, albeit they did have a horrifically bad penalty decision go against them in that game for handball, which was clearly outside the box. In saying all of that, I'm going to go 2-0 Swansea in this game. Do fancy the Swans for a comfortable home win there. And then to finish off the weekend's fixtures with West Brom going up against Against Sunderland. Good win for the Baggies in midweek, a comfortable 2 0 win over Rotherham, and a much needed result for Carlos Corbrand's men on the back of quite a few consecutive draws. They did need to get back to winning ways eventually. They extended their lead over Norwich in sixth place to four points as well, which is a healthy buffer to have going into these final few matches of the season. This one against Sunderland won't be a complete walk in the park. It was a good battling point by Sunderland, I thought. Um, in midweek against Leeds. Didn't really give them much of a sniff, albeit got quite fortunate not to give away that penalty. But regardless, to go away to Ellen Road and not concede a goal, 
you can't have any complaints at that. Not many sides have gone there this season and frustrated leads like Sunderland did. Score prediction in this one. I fancy it to be quite tight. Wouldn't be surprised if it's decided by a one goal margin or it ends level. I think my gut is just leaning towards West Brom. They don't tend to give that much away at the Hawthorns. So with that being said, I'm going to go 2-1 to the Baggies in that game. But guys, there we have it. Those are my score predictions heading into this weekend in the Championship. Make sure to have your say in the comments down below. So some massive games coming up this weekend which I want to get your opinion on. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.